Premier Doug Ford and Canada's other provincial leaders say part of the problem of high interest rates and Canada's high inflation comes from the federal government. But they say Ottawa isn't listening. Al Sweeney is covering this story and joins us live in studio with the details. Good evening, Al. Hi there, Taz. Well, premiers were speaking out today about the Bank of Canada's latest rate increase and blaming the federal government, at least in part, for the affordability crisis facing Canadians. The premiers and territorial leaders were speaking in Winnipeg at the end of their annual meeting as the Council of the Federation. And they say Ottawa and the Bank of Canada should back off. Just go on record. I'm not in favor of these uh, high rates. I'm just not. I understand what they're doing, trying to knock down inflation, but what's the ramification of this? When these people have to renew their mortgages and they can't afford it, this isn't good for the country. In fact, they say the real damage from higher interest rates is still to come. You really do have to wonder uh, uh, when the Bank of Canada is going to take a pause and see what the impact of this is going to be. We haven't seen the full impact yet. People have not renewed their mortgages yet. Uh, and uh, the businesses that are struggling under debt uh, have, uh, have not started going under yet, but they will. They also accuse the federal government of helping create the inflation crisis in the first place by piling on costs like clean energy measures, including the carbon tax that adds 14 cents a litre to the cost of gas in Ontario. And I just wish the, the federal government could reduce their fair share of tax, give people some re relief. When you layer on policy after policy after policy, there's costs to those policies and they, and they need to be realized and they're real and they're, they're being felt by uh, Canadians and not. They say Ottawa should listen. Let's get some recognition for the impact this is having on everyday lives. We are just asking for them to understand that they have put us in a position of creating an enormous affordability crisis because they keep on loading up cost after cost. They also say cutting back federal energy costs might help with the housing crisis. But while Doug Ford is focused on building 1.5 million new homes, Northwest Territories leader Carolyn Cochran suggested a different approach. It's not only about building houses, it's actually about making the houses affordable. So we're looking internally about how we can help within our own to do first time mortgages for lower income families. So that's in contrast to Ontario's focus on building new homes. As far as energy policies go, the provinces and territories say they want to protect the environment too, but the federal government should talk to them about clean energy policies that work in their areas without shifting the burden to the people who live there. 